Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Finding Your Perfect Camper. Since we cannot come up with a better name, and that name kind of says it all, where we help you find your best camper. So, a little background on what this is. We've got a form on the website that you fill out. There's no personal information whatsoever. You just tell us a little bit about what you're looking for, like uh, family size, budget, your tow capabilities, and then we'll go find three campers that fit as best as we can with your criteria. So let's just jump right in. This week we have the Taylor family. It's a family of four. They didn't really specify ages or anything, but a family of four. They have a 9,000 pound tow capacity, a $30,000 budget, and they're looking for a travel trailer. In the travel trailer, they definitely want bunks, so I'm assuming a couple of them are kids. They want an outside kitchen, a second bedroom entry, and they've asked for a residential refrigerator, which is gonna be a tough one in the travel trailer realm and in that $30,000 price point. So we're gonna jump right in. We're gonna go over this Trail Runner 31DB. It's a little over 7,000 pounds, it's 7,040 pounds, and it's 36 feet 11 inches, so it's a nice size camper. Let's go ahead and jump right in so we don't have a 25 minute long video. When we look on the outside here, we have an outside kitchen. You see that featured a lot when you have campers with bunk units. We've got a nice sized refrigerator out here, a cooktop stove, and some places to store some stuff. One of the advantages, whether you're looking for bunks or not, um, is having an out, or with having an outside kitchen is that refrigerator because you're cutting down on that foot traffic running in and out of your camper, which is fantastic. Some other features to cover. We've got a nice big powered awning here that does have LED lights on, as you can see. LED lights that are on, as you can see. Outside speakers. Up here at the front, we've got a big pass-through storage compartment. You'll have no problem with keeping tables and chairs and stuff in here. This does have powered stabilizer jacks as well as a powered tongue jack up here at the front. Let's go ahead and go jump inside. Okay, so here we are inside the 31 dB and immediately to my side, we've got our bunk room. So we have a double bunk on the bottom. We've got a single bunk on the top that's rated for 275 pounds. So you can put an adult up there, no problem at all. You do have a storage closet right here for whoever's staying in the bunk area. One of the other nice features before I cover the rest is you do have a door so you can have some privacy in here if you know they want to lay back here and watch TV, change, whatever, you got room back here. You've got your bathroom right here. So we've got our toilet, sink with storage below the sink, and then you've got ample storage over here to the side. And you've got a cool little area where they can put their own TV back here as well as some additional storage for their clothes and stuff. So it's kind of nice, nice little bunkhouse area. Also want to point out right as you came in, you do have a really big closet. I mean, this is a big closet. So you can keep outside activity stuff, extra blankets, pillows, whatever you want. Now when we're in the main part of the unit, we have our fold out sofa. So this is going to turn into a bed. I do want to point out that we call this a carpetless slide because it's really not carpet. It's more like a woven, uh, I don't even know what. It, it reminds me of those indoor outdoor carpets that you could get. We have it in our Cougar. It's super nice because it's easy to clean. That is directly across from where you'll put your TV. So you can put that on a swivel, watch it from anywhere in here. You've got your Bluetooth radio, and then you've got some additional storage cabinets down here. We have our booth dinette, which is also going to turn into a bed. So this camper sleeps a lot of people, especially for the weight that it's at and uh, size. I did not point out the reason I stammered there is you know she had that $30,000 budget so we're right at her $30,000 budget. Kitchen wise we've got our stainless steel refrigerator. Go ahead and pop that bad boy open for you. Nice sized refrigerator no problem keeping uh, several days worth of groceries in there. We have our three burner stove, stainless steel microwave, and then we've got a stainless steel 50-50 sink and as you can see, quite a bit of cabinets and drawers for keeping your kitchen utensils and stuff. As we step back, I want to cover the main bathroom. So one of the cool things with this camper, and I should have said it back there, was you have that half bath back there. But now you've got your full bath. So you have the stand-up shower, toilet, sink with storage below, 
medicine cabinet, and again, more uh, space for toiletry and stuff. So one of the other cool things, I'm always thinking about the ones with the little kids. I have an adult kid now, but the ones with the little kids, you know, we were talking about the refrigerator outside, making it easier for not having foot traffic. Now back here in the bunkhouse, they have their own bathroom, so they don't have to come up here in the middle of the night, wake anybody up to go to the restroom. So now we're in the master bedroom. One of the things that they asked for in their list was that second entry to the bedroom. And like I said, we always try to do our best to meet your criteria. Uh, but taking all things into consideration, we thought, hey, this does check a lot of the boxes. So we've got a queen bed back here that does have storage underneath the bed. We've got the his and hers closets. And they even have, you can just stay right there. They even have this cool little on both sides, so you can keep cups or whatever glasses in here. You don't have to worry about knocking them over in your sleep. You also have uh, wireless charging ports on both sides of the bed. A nice size closet back here to keep uh, mom and dad's stuff with some drawers down below. And you can put a TV back here on a swivel mount so you can have some TV back here in the bedroom. So now let's jump over to camper number two. How's that? Now we've come to camper number two, which is right behind me. This is the 318, Hideout 318. So this is, the, like I said, the Hideout 318 BR. Its weight is 7,710, so we're still well under that 9,000 pound tow capacity. We're at 35 feet, 11 inches, so we only lost one foot on this. And then we're at 30999 so we're just a little bit above the budget, but I don't think we're too bad. All right, Greg, let's take a look at this one. So we do still have the powered tongue jack here on the front. We have powered stabilizer jack. We're going to have that nice big pass-through storage, just like in the other unit. Big powered awning, like in the other unit, that does have LED lights. We also have the outside speakers. Something I forgot to point out on the other unit that this unit has as well is you do have an outside plug and a cable connect, so you can actually have a TV out here. This unit, we've got a little bit bigger, actually quite a bit bigger of an outside kitchen, so we still have our cooktop stove. We also have a sink out here, so now they can wash their grubby paws off before they come in. You've got storage, and then you actually have a substantially bigger refrigerator in here. So you're gaining a lot of outside kitchen space on this. Nothing really fancy to see on the back. Let's go in and check out the inside. All right, so we're inside that 318 BR, and I wanna talk about the bedroom first because that's directly to the side. So you've got two entries into the bedroom and you've got sliding doors to close that off and have your privacy. You still have that queen size bed with storage underneath. You still have your his and hers closets. You do have some nightstands on both sides and that nightstand over there actually lifts up and you can use it as a laundry shoe. Or you could hide snacks in there if you wanted, I guess. Oh, before I forget, right behind me, you do have a TV mount back here in the wall too, so you can have that swivel TV in and still watch TV in the bedroom. Now here in the main living area, you'll see we've got a jackknife sofa, so we've got a little bit smaller of a sofa. We do have a carpet on the slide. This does fold out to a bed though, so you've got some sleeping accommodations. We've got that booth dinette again, so that's more sleeping combinations. We're gonna go ahead in the back and work our way around her. As we come back to the bunkhouse, we've got some additional storage right here. Actually, a lot of storage. And then our bunkhouse is actually quite a bit bigger in this unit. So we actually have three bunks that are just stationary bunks. This one will lift up out of the way. And then your futon down here will also turn into a bunk when you want. You have an area for a TV as well as some storage down below and a nice big closet with some more storage here. So the uh, bunkhouse is definitely larger in this unit. Great, let's cover the bathroom. How about the bathroom? Sound good? So one of the check boxes was that second entry into the bathroom. As you see, we've got that. Or no, you want a second entry into the bedroom. We got you a second entry to the bathroom. It's close as can be. I mean, bedrooms all the way down there. Anyway, some storage up here. You have your toilet, sink with storage below. No medicine cabinet, but you do have a shove, shove, <laughs> a tower shove. I just said it again. We're gonna roll with it. 
It's a shove. I'm going to trademark that and I'm going to put it in all of our advertisements. When you have a shower tub combo, it's going to be a shove. Anyway, you have a t tub shower combo in this unit. Struggle is real on a Friday, guys. We have that stainless steel refrigerator. It's going to be about the same size as the other one, if not the exact same size. We have our three burner stove. We have a black microwave instead of a stainless steel microwave. And this is like an 80-20 split sink, but again, plenty of countertop space. You get some storage up above as well as down below. And one thing I definitely want to call out in the hideout that wasn't present in the Trail Runner is the central vac system. So that allows you to not have to take a broom, a dustpan, any of that stuff with you. You hook the hose up, you sweep, you put the hose up, you're done. Last but certainly not least in this unit is our entertainment area. Mount your TV up there. You've got your Bluetooth radio here. And something else that this unit has that the other one didn't is you actually have a fireplace in here. So those are great early season camping, late season camping, and you're not using any propane, propane whatsoever. The struggle is real today. Let's go do camper number three. Okay, now we've come to our last camper that we have. This is the Passport 2951. Some of the information about this one is that it weighs 6,490. So again, well under that tow capacity. We're at 33 feet, four inches. So we've gotten smaller, if that makes you feel more comfortable to have the smaller vehicle. Now let's go ahead and go check this one out. So if we look on the outside, we do still have that powered tongue jack. We still have the powered stabilizer jacks. We're still getting that nice big pass-through storage along the front. We're also keeping the nice big awning powered with LED and the outside speakers. We do still have that TV hookup out here. Our kitchen again went back to the smaller size, but still nice to have that refrigerator out here and you do have a cooktop if you don't want to cook stinky stuff inside or if you just want to be outside socializing with the family and cook some steaks and burgers up there. This one has a ladder on the back, so it is a fully walkable roof. All of your roofs you can get on to clean and maintain, but when we say fully walkable, that means you're fine up there for extended periods of time, and having the ladder just makes it a little bit easier to get up there and clean. You also have a rear access door, and you can see that that does lock from the outside, and I'll talk more about that when we go in. Let's go check it out. I realized one of the things I forgot when I was doing my intro to this and talking about the features was the price. This one comes in at $34,950. So we're at the top of the budget. Actually, we're over the budget. This is the most expensive of the three. Now let's talk about features. As we come in, we do have some drawers here and you actually have this cool little cabinet that has access from both sides. Our bedroom is directly over here. Again, still have that queen size bed, have larger nightstands on both sides with power and USB. We still have the his and hers closet as well as some storage up above, a place to mount a TV back here, and you do still have those sliding doors for privacy. Our booth slash couch area is pretty cool. You can just hang out there, Gary, and I'll show them. So right now we're in our couch lounging position. So we're making the most out of our couch space. But when we're all ready to have dinner, we pull this bad boy out, flip this, now we have our booth done. Now, that does turn into a bed. We get asked that, that does turn into a bed. But it's kind of a cool feature when you're trying to make the most out of a small space to be able to do that. Your couch also turns into a bed, so you're not losing any of that additional sleeping space that we were talking about in the other two units. Back here in the back, we have our double over double bunks. And as you see, we've got that access door from there. Like I said, that does lock from the outside because some people, I think I forgot to say that in videos before, they were expressed concerns about the kiddos, but that does lock. What's really cool about that though, is this bed will actually fold up and you can use that for storage to get things to and from the campground. And you don't have to worry about piling in your tow vehicle. I mean, you can fit a kayak in there, a couple bikes, whatever you wanted. Second entry to that bathroom again. This time we don't have a shrub, we just have a shower. We've got our toilet, storage below our sink, medicine cabinet, and right outside of that bathroom door, we've got a couple of big cabinets there for storage. Right behind me is our TV area, our entertainment area. 
So we've got our TV, we've got some storage up above there, and we've got a black refrigerator this time, a little bit bigger, plenty of storage, uh, black stay, uh, three burner stove, black microwave, and a nice big kitchen counter as you see with some storage space, and they even have the little fold up top to give you additional storage, and a huge stainless steel sink. Okay guys, that'll do it for this week's Finding Your Perfect Camper. Like I said, we would absolutely love to do more of these. Please click the link up above or somewhere in the post and fill it out. Like I said, there's no personal information whatsoever. I will say though, we have a box for your email address. If you would be interested in coming here and participating, we will give you 500 off of your purchase if you do that. So I think it would be really cool to actually take a family around, let them shop for their camper and walk them through. So if that interests you, put in your email address. If you don't want us to contact you, you just want us to do a video for you, just leave the email blank. Guys, as always, it's a pleasure. Enjoy your weekend.